Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. I've actually skipped ahead a few days from where we left off. So we're about halfway through the third week of game time in the final scenario of the Masters of the Elements campaign. And Astral here, otherwise known as Yellow Gandalf, is about to break into the Earth Lord's area. And notice one of the Tan Heroes is not too far away. Yeah, haven't moved Labitha yet because I'm hoping to move her up to pick up resources in Astral's Wake. Just cleared a Naga Bank here. So we can always use the extra resources. take a look. Uh, he could use more spell points, but I, th I think he's got enough for at least one good battle. But first he has to get through these titans before he can get to the tan hero. Bunch of titans. Looks like about 18 of them. Mind spell immunity hates black dragons. Okay. So I'm thinking Chain Lightning might work if he's got it. Well, it weeded them down a bit. And then these folks should do 150, 200 points damage easily. Let's try taking out that northernmost stack. Oh yeah, that worked. And then we have seven firebirds, which should do 210 to 280. Probably want to go there so we can immobilize as many of the Titan stacks as possible. Basically prevent them from using their missile attacks. Hopefully without losing too many of them. Okay, next round. Let's see if we can still manage the chain lightning without getting too many people killed. Ouch. Now, uh, see, I want to target this Titan without breaking contact with the other one. Try that way instead. Oh crap, we lost her. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Alright. There. Okay. Hopefully we'll have enough of an army to still be able to confront the tan player when we get through with this. Okay. People are getting so bunched up together. I need to be careful about what I cast. Okay. Well, just the one Titan left. Finally. Yeah, we only have one Phoenix left. Ouch. Okay, well... In that case, maybe we should have Labitha. Uh, or maybe we should have had Labitha give some of her troops to Astral before going back to the castle. from King Magnus today. It reads, Tarnum, amazing! After all of these years, for you to return alive is simply amazing! I've had some of what you've experienced while in the elemental planes from the man you sent to me, but I hunger for more information. I know your hands are still busy with the elemental laws, but maybe I can help you sometime soon. Unfortunately, we've had some trouble in the decades since your absence and don't have much to offer right now. Good luck and looking forward to hearing from you again. Sign Gavin Magnus, King of Bracala. Okay, yeah, I saw one of the Era Lords getting close to the exit there, so hopefully, yeah, right there. So hopefully, Rissa can reach him to confront him sometime soon.
You know, unfortunately Passus is blocking Tarn's advance. I think I'm gonna reload from the auto save. And just, you know, don't mind this text message coming up again. There. Now. Yeah, there's some black dragons guarding access to the Air Lord's area. Meanwhile, Bristol's going to attack this Medusa stores, which you've seen this before, so I'm just going to pause the recording while we deal with it, so hang on. And we're back. We'll get some resources out of that. That takes care of those water elementals and learning stone. There's a pyramid there, which hopefully we can clear and find some goodies in. Okay, I think before we have Astral advance any further, we should try to pick up some troops to support him. Okay, there we go. So we're going to give Astral most of those pixies. Yeah, oh, that tan hero disappeared. So, good question where it went. Yeah, well, we're down to just one phoenix. out of the ones that Astro picked up early on in the scenario. Okay, now, where is the Earth Lord's castle? I'm going to try visiting the stat boost. Look, look at that, there's a sawmill. Where there's a sawmill, there's usually a castle close by. Yeah, in the meantime, we'll pick up some more resources up here. Mm 
Yeah, I think Rissa can handle that. Let's see. Actually, wouldn't do any good for Syra to visit there because she's already maxed out on the number of skills she can have. Okay, well let's start building things in our... Okay, we can build an altar of thought here. Yeah, problem is with controlling so many castles, we have to keep picking up more resources each turn just to be able to build half the stuff we've got. Now we know we've got a ton of wood, so we might be able to trade that in for more gold. Okay, let's build a castle to improve our defenses here. Okay, then let's move on to the next castle and basically we used up enough wood that now we might wait until next turn to build more stuff. Okay. Today some of my fire elementals managed to slip into the land of the Fire Lord and destroy some of his supplies. Outnumbered as I am, I must strike back at my enemy, weaken him, and get him thinking about protecting his own lands before he can attack me. Well, I guess those fire elementals have seen more of the Fire Lord than I have yet because we have yet to uncover any of the Fire Lord Lord's lands. Okay, so let's have I have passes pick up a couple things. Okay, pit fiends run from Tarnum. So we can have passes pick up the stuff that the pit fiends were guarding. Tarnum, I'm sure Tarnum probably already knows that spell. Yeah, oh, magic arrow. Yeah, and he has. More than enough spell points. Uh, he could actually use. There we go. First aid tent and an ammo card. And we'll head for the tree of knowledge there. Okay, let's save the game and try that pyramid. Yep, 20 diamond golems, 40 gold golems. I'm going to do this on auto combat basically because magic largely will not work on those golems. Yeah. Rissa basically does not have missile troops, which stinks. Okay, 
Okay, so we got Magic Mirror. Okay. Let's see where that green hero is. Oh yeah, I think we can take him. But can we take those black dragons? I don't know if we're going to reach any more of the Elemental Lord's castles this episode, but it would be really nice if we managed to take out both the Air Lord and the Earth Lord castles by the end of next episode. That's an awful lot of black dragons. Now, of course, I think black dragons are very, very magic resistant. Yeah, immune to all spells. Although, certainly protective spells would work. Oh, there go our air elementals, such as they were. Basically, Riss has been summoning fire elementals, and hopefully, our original troops will hold out long enough that we can take these guys out and still have enough left to go after the air heroes. Hello, Lost in Blue! Lost in Blue just walked past. Oh good, Rissa does have Resurrection. Thank goodness. I think we've got enough time to finish this battle. And Lost of Blue has just left the room. Hopefully we can still take him out. Okay. Now we're hoping to find the Earth Lord's castle down here. I have no idea what good expert navigation is supposed to do. Okay, so we have quicksand. I'm sure he probably already knows whatever that spell is. I'm thinking surely the Earth Lord's castle has got to be close there. Okay, well, we will continue advancing into the Air Lord and the Earth Lord's domains next turn, and hopefully we'll be able to capture both of those castles. 
sometime soon. So we will see you then.